This is the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving. Now this may seem redundant, but that's because it is. And that's because it's actually true. Leonardo AI continues to give us new feature after new feature. Just recently, Leonardo AI had a 12 days of elements campaign where each day they released and showed these amazing 12 different elements to really take your images to the next level to get that specific style that you're looking for. These new elements are awesome. And so today, not only am I gonna show you all these new elements, but I'm also gonna give you some amazing prompts to try, including a mega prompt generator. So all you have to do is just paste this prompt in the ChatGPT and then give ChatGPT a simple keyword. Based off that keyword, you're gonna automatically receive 12 different prompts that are all different, but yet specific to each individual new element. Let's just dive right into it. Click the links in the description for hundreds of prompts. Okay, so right here, the first thing you can see is that we are in ChatGPT. And it doesn't matter if you use 3.5 or 4. When you use this mega prompt generator, you'll paste it in the chat GPT. And then instantly, just like that, based off of all 12 new elements, chat GPT will automatically generate a prompt for each of the 12 new elements. So here's what it looks like in chat GPT 4. If I then go over to 3.5, you could see it looks a little bit different. But again, it's still going to give me 12 amazing prompts, all specific to each of the 12 new Leonardo. Auto AI elements. Okay, so we'll go into ChatGPT in a second and I'll show you exactly how to use this prompt. But before we do that, let me take you over to the Mega Leonardo AI prompts database. Now, the reason why I have one that is specific for Leonardo AI is because Leonardo AI has so many different elements, fine tuned models, and features that you can use all within the same platform. And so on this database, I think it's important to display anytime I generate a specific image you not only have the prompt that was used, but you could also see the actual images that will be generated when you use this specific prompt. Other databases you might get just might have the prompt and you really don't know what you're going to get. But in this case, this one, you could see if I use this specific image and this specific fine tuned model, your image will look just like this. And that's going to be the case with all of these. When I click and expand on each individual cell, you'll see here are the images you'll get. Here's a fine tuned model. Here's the alchemy prompt preset. And then again, if there was any element used, you're going to see exactly what element to use. So speaking of elements, I talked about giving you guys an amazing prompt generator. To get to the prompt generator, you could click up here in the top left hand corner, this tab that's called prompt generators. Now these are going to be prompts that actually make prompts. So right now I have 51 in total that can be used for Leonardo AI. But the one I'm sharing with you guys today is going to be this massive one right here. This is the the prompt generator that we're going to use for each unique and individual element. So this is going to display a gallery where any prompt or image that was used, if it has an element associated with it, here's an example of one we're going to try today. This is going to be a prompt that was used very simple but with the new glass core element in Leonardo AI. And so when you utilize this sort of element, you're gonna get this sort of image, pretty fascinating. And then from there, if you wanna take things even to the next level, these elements do a great job and they look amazing utilizing Leonardo AI motion. So if I play this again, look at this glass swan made with the new element glass core. So the links in the description will not only have access to the Mega Prompts database, but access to a page on my website where you can actually copy copy and paste this whole entire prompt generator yourself. And then I'll include it under here, underneath this section called Featured on YouTube. Okay, so before we dive into the amazing prompt generator and use ChatGPT, let's first head over to Leonardo AI to look at all these new amazing elements. So here we are over here on my personal feed. And then just by scrolling down, you could see some of the most recent ones I made with these brand new elements. So one of the new ones are this one right here. We have Kids Illustration. That's one of the new ones. We have Dark Arts. We have Cybertech. Dragon Scales, Simple Flat Illustration, Fantasy Icons, Color Pop, 3D Sculpt, Glass Core, Simple Icons, Vintage Photography, and then Cute Emotes. Amazing. So if I go back to my database, here are the ones it made for me today. If I go back over to Leonardo AI, you could see these images it did exactly for me right here. Glass Statue of Pokemon, perfect job. You could see this is going to be Glass Core yet again, okay? Another one of these I liked are going to be this Color Pop one, a retro anime style with a splash of color and energy. And then when I used it with Vision XL, I got just that. And now moving on to another one I like. 
like, this one is 3D sculpt. Create 3D asset style mockups with smooth rounded edges. Here's the full prompt right here. And then here are the three images I got with the 3D sculpt. I think this one also did a great job. Okay, now moving on to the next one. This is also one of my favorites as well. This is going to be the one for kids illustration. This says, bring your ideas to life in delightful illustrations perfect for children's books. So here's this one right here. This one's quite simple. All I put was Pixar style Sonic the Hedgehog standing next to a little boy. Okay, very good job. But then I got this other amazing one right here. Look how well of a job this did. So we have that one. And then if I scroll down, there's even one more. This one did a really good job as well. This was also using the kids illustration element. And then that is exactly what we got. Okay, moving on to another one. Now this one is called dark arts. Okay, if I expand my image, you could see it's exactly just that dark arts create an atmospheric and gothic art with this element okay now looking back at these another one that's pretty cool are gonna be this vintage photography now this one is really cool vintage polaroids grungy photos and nostalgic vibes okay so that's gonna be the element right here and again just by simply using a very simple prompt a beautiful looking family taking a family portrait in the early 1980s sitting in the front of their yard and a 1980s style home that's exactly what we got a bustling New York City in the 1950s. Okay, so why don't we take a quick break from looking at all these elements and then dive right in to chat GPT and then try out this prompt generator specifically for these 12 new elements. All right, so first thing I'll do is just simply, let me come in here and then open up this mega prompt right here. Once it's copied, now head over to chat GPT. We'll try it in both 3.5 and then four, so you can see the difference, okay? And then once the prompt is pasted in, you can see what chat GPT says, just provide me with the simple keyword or subject. I'm gonna say just a panda, that's all I have to do. So I'll get 12 different prompts with 12 different element styles right away. And then here they are right here. Great choice, let's dive into crafting some amazing prompts. So glass core. Notice on the first one, I specifically told it to use the word glass when utilizing glass core, and it did exactly just that. So we have 12 prompts that we could use immediately and then right away, all with one keyword utilizing the word panda. We'll try out some of these in a second. But first, let's head over to GBT4, change things up a little bit, and now paste this prompt in just to show you the difference in what it looks like. You'll get the same results, but in four, you're going to get a little bit more of a detailed style of prompt. I have to now provide chat GPT with my subject. And then for this prompt, all I'll put in is just a subject. I'll just put a woman at the beach. And now I'll hit generate on this one as well. You can see it's going to take a little bit longer, but the prompts are still going to be unique, but a little bit more detailed. We have 3.5. Look at the difference. Okay. So for example, number one, this is going to be just one sentence right here. Very simple. If I go to four, up here to glass core, we could see this one's gonna have two sentences and it's gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed. So then what I'll do now, I'll make a few images and then I'll quickly show you the image styles with each of the elements that it made for me. All right, so I have all my images generated. I just chose a few off of these chat GPT prompt generators that it gave us. And I have to tell you, I'm incredibly impressed by just trying this out a couple of times. So with that said, let's now head over to Leonardo AI and I'll show you the images it was able to make for me. The first one I wanna take a look at is look at this one right here, a hyper-realistic glass sculpture of a woman standing gracefully on a beach, okay? And then if we look at this image, that's exactly what we got right here. Phenomenal job. Okay, so then now now the next one, same style, woman at the beach, same keyword, woman at the beach. Here is the prompt that it gave us, okay? Nostalgic vintage Polaroid photo of a woman at the beach. Now look at this right here. We got exactly just that. Now next up, same thing, same woman at the beach, but this one was used with the prompt and element for a kid's illustration. But then look at this over here. When I utilize the element dark arts, so same keyword, a beautiful woman at the beach, but with the new one, the new prompt, okay? Here is the one for dark arts, okay, that ChatGPT gave us, a gothic atmospheric painting of a woman standing on a stormy beach. If I click and open this up, it specified a painting. It's not gonna have that like 3D rendered realistic sort of look, but look at this right here. Utilizing that dark element or that dark arts element gave us this photo right here. Now look at this one over here with Panda, okay? So this one was GPT 3.5 and with one word Panda, I got this 
this dark arts prompt. And if I look at the image, look at this right here. This is incredible with this dark arts one of that panda. It can't get any better than this. And then again, we have the uh, kids illustration book for the woman at the beach. And now if we go back to the panda one, look at this one right here, utilizing the dragon scales. So it gives us like this hybrid panda dragon with the dragon scales image. And then we have this one over here, utilizing simple icons, and this did a pretty good job as well. Try this amazing prompt generator. I'll put the links in my description to access the database and even the prompt generator for you guys to use and test however you want. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.